Would you like to hear a simple tune? You must have a favorite song, I presume. Melodies can give us love and fear. Tender tone tonics for the eager ear. History shows music is a human ritual. Only Homo sapiens find rhythm so instinctual. Singing in the brain is different to speak. Evolution found purpose in this lyrical technique. We say noise is what it isn't, but what is it then? What builds a melody, a song, or anthem? Hard to say as music in many forms, we're never defined by such social norms. What makes up the various pieces? How do producers craft their releases? Join my voice, it is quite therapeutic. Together we shall explore the chemistry of music. All music begins with a beat. Here every two, the other hits three. When sounds come in and out of sync, it satisfies a deep instinct. The greater the numbers, the longer the periods between those in sync submerged in myriads of dissonant cacophony never in time, so hence we want fractions of only small primes. Change the tempo, the effect remains. Only the ratio is all that pertains, so why don't we turn up the speed till the clicks once single, together they bleed. Into a tone, something pure, something rich. After all, frequency is simply pitch. Observe how these pitches, when tossed like a salad, produce chords and harmony, a hyperrhythmic ballad. If two frequencies are by two in ratio, they harmonize as octaves, utmost sensational. But when nothing but doubles are played in serial, the resulting chord is like water with cereal. To spice things up, a new fraction commutes. Three halves create fits for some boredom refutes. When applied once to the ear brings its gifts, and together they create the circle of fits. But hold on, the astute of you say, Fractions can simply add up this way. Twelve fifths don't equate seven octaves in full. This interval clashes and howls like a wolf. To remedy this harmonic incongruence, these keys are placed in equal temperament. While clean fractions are replaced with crude surds, it inoculates scales from sounding absurd. Let us return to the circle of intervals and adjoin the fraction that's the least bit commutable. Order them from simple, as that is best heard. First first, then fifth, then fourth, then third. Beyond this, the keys will start to sound dissonant as denominator sizes begin to grow imminent. To achieve good balance between harmony and rot, you must match three harmonics with three that are not. This is the first scale, or major if you will, in which most melodies are written and instilled. Different sections of keys create contrarians like minors, lydians, dorians, and phrygians. While sevens keys common, others aren't forbidden, as there exist cultures outside of Britain, which utilize fractions and keys of different kinds for history and emotions of various designs. You might ask what differs C major and A minor, well all notes are shared but not their primer. Their tonic or bass note that you face is set by other instruments in play such as the bass. The greater in sync the notes of a choir, the more unison the emotions and the stronger the fire. By making and cutting tensions and patterns, we create journeys and narratives in music that matters. Back to ordinary speaking behavior, English stressing presents Turing's savior, as the natural rhythm that's intrinsic in talking is proof to one's behinds alive and walking. To be alive is to find meaning in rhythm. The music back in this video too follows rhythm. This video structure is built in logical rhythm. Everything, everything, everything rhythm. It may be a human's duty to discover what he, she, they finds his beauty. But when music is loved with such authenticity, I wager beauty is found in unexpected simplicity.